think one of the things we're actually actively trying to work on right now at the sports school is to include uh, finances uh, yeah. as a subject to teach yeah. kids how to deal with money. You know, yeah. um, you know how to how to read contracts uh, that yeah. they sign. You know how much they're going to earn. What goes to taxes? What what goes yeah. towards your agents? You know what? Yeah. And, and how much you end up earning? How to make how to make investments? Like we're yeah. trying, we're trying to include that as as a part of the curriculum. Uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully in the next academic year, uh, so that we're we're empowering kids to think about think independently about how they yeah. deal with their money. Absolutely. Know? So. Because that's the best age to learn things, right? They visualize exactly. Things. Kids are so visual in their like yeah. in, their, in their minds. So yeah. to kind of encourage that that thought process. So uh, I'm so glad we we're doing this because it's like okay, this 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 whole yeah. thing about public speaking languages is, is no as important. Thing. You are talking it's about easy. this. We have a whole course on financial literacy, by the way, which talks exactly so about this, which is saving and its importance, debit, credit, and it also teaches you. Uh, you know about the market, RBI, different uh, central banks in the world, how currency works, and these are life skills. You know, I mean, you shouldn't be working a working professional uh, only to know how to file your taxes or know what they are. Like I only learned it because uh, I had to start filing taxes. Until then, I had no idea because exactly, no one taught me right? in school. First, right. in school, trigonometry and geometry was more important than filing taxes. Really, like, yeah. <laughs> like why, why? <laughs>